Hey buds, welcome back to my channel. Today I am so excited because we have the fabulous, the unique and quirky choreographer, Easton Blake. Hello. <laughs> and if you haven't already watched the solo that he choreographed for me for So You Think You Can Dance, pause this video right now and go watch that first because this is the behind the scenes, the exclusive sneak peek of how we made it. So now I first met Easton at the Allurious. Is it Allurious? Is that a word? <laughs> Alluring, maybe. Alluring? What's illustrious? Is that the word? That sounds good. Okay, the illustrious <laughs> studio of Beyond Belief in Mesquite, Texas with Alyssa Edwards, AKA Justin Johnson. Um, and you were choreographing and teaching there. Yes, um, I was 18 at the time. It was like my first studio out of the, out of the state job um, there with Justin. And you're originally from? North Carolina. Via? Via. Now you're? Oh, now I live in Los Angeles. Now you're via Los Angeles. I love it. So we first met in Texas. This was what, maybe three, four yeah, years ago? Yeah, it was a while back. I was okay, how old are you now? I'm now 22. Oh, right. Not a kid at 22. Wait till you're 30, mama. Mm. Um, okay, so we met there at the studio. And then, you know, obviously we went our separate ways, doing different things. I worked at the studio, if you didn't know. Catch me on Dancing Queen, Netflix. Shout out. Hey, hey. <laughs> um, and then uh, we finally got back in touch with one another through Talia. Uh, who's a fabulous choreographer here in Los Angeles. And she recommended you to choreograph this solo for me for So You Think You Can Dance. And uh, when I asked him to do it, um, I didn't really you know, tell him what song to pick or anything. We just came into the studio. I was just open and was like, whatever you got, let's, let's do it. And so he did. He came into the studio. You had something prepared. Yeah. Sort of, kind of, right? Yeah. Um, I came in the studio with a David Bowie track just because I think that as an entertainer, um, Laganja and Jay remind me a lot um, of kind of his essence and also just like the idea of like um, a performance identity. Um, I feel like that was really, really relatable on the behalf of Jay and Laganja. Gender bending, um, kind of out there, different. Yeah. yeah. Pushing the boundary. It's about, it's, you know, it's called Life on Mars. Life on Mars. <laughs> what are you trying to say? What am I trying to say? Are you trying to say like I'm an alien or something? Um, we're getting there. We're getting there. <laughs> <laughs> and so your movement style, how would you describe your movement style for people? Um, I would say eclectic, if anything. I love that. Um, eclectic, it's, a, it's kind of a mashup of a lot of styles. I would consider it contemporary still, just to be respectful. But it definitely, there's some jazz elements in there. There's some like strangely pop and lock elements in there as well. Totally. Um, but yeah, it's, it's eclectic. I yeah, I think, I think the way you blend uh, movement vocabularies is really interesting. Um, in particular, I loved the video you just posted on Instagram today. Like, oh, it was you. so <laughs> unique. He does amazing choreography on big groups of girls. A lot of your choreography has been done for like the competition realm, right? Yeah, um, I choreograph mostly for the, the competition circuit. I go back and forth here and there, but that's kind of where I got my starts, where my root is, and I, I, I do have a passion for it. But what's really cool, again, in my opinion, what you do with these you know, contemporary girls in this competition setting is so what I would consider like uh, concert dance. Yeah. You know, there are the elements of technique. You definitely still do get that like vibrancy of competition dance from your choreography, but there's such a attention to detail. It's, it's very um, emotional. You know, I think a lot of times choreographers movement is very physical. It's very like, wow, showy, you know, we think so you think you can dance big splits, big jumps. But a lot of times, in my opinion, what makes dance so cool is the movement that really registers with an emotion. So for instance, in that one you just posted, there was that amazing thing where like they were trying to like get their hand out yes. of their face. Yes. <laughs> and like it's just such a strong image and you just, in my opinion, you don't see that from choreographers. Right now people I think are, like I said, so focused on the flash that they forget to like tell a story through movement. So that's what I really enjoyed working with you. I think, you know, I had three solos choreographed for So You Think You Can Dance because I'm extracurricular and wanted to do the most. Um, and what I appreciate, appreciate about your solo and resonate with the most is that it did. It really felt tailored for my body and for who I am as an artist. And that's why when he was like Life on Mars, it was like, oh yeah, perfect match. Like there was never like a, well, I don't know. And mm. are you sure? Like I really, I trusted you. Yeah. And I think what you created is, is really cool and unique. Well, and, thank and you. speaks to what you do. Yeah. And thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, and emotional value is obviously really important to me. Um, yeah, and I, I feel like it, it also was meant, meant for your body. And I feel like there's a lot of emotional value to everything that you do. Yes. So what's next for you? Where are you off to? Where are you choreographing next? How can people stay in touch with your work? Um, you can stay with, in touch with me always via Instagram, which I'm sure will be linked down below. Of course. Um, 
yeah, Instagram, I, um, this summer I'm just going on a teaching circuit sort of thing, maybe taking some time off to, like, try to go to Europe and see what's over there for a moment. It would be amazing there. Mm -hmm. I could see you there in a heartbeat. <laughs> well, thank you again so much for coming and twerking it out with me and making me, you know, be the fabulous kooky alien that, you know, you are, that I am. <laughs> and until next time, you guys stay sickening. Oh, crrr.